excited to be here for our live season finale. Coming up, we've got our musical guests, the Banana Boys, and later you'll see God, my God, don't make it cut the broadcast. Okay, why? Rita Ritter, official BSU Tonight historian. Why? Megan, you need to cut the broadcast. We've got to get you out of here. Okay, why? Why? It's it's a live season finale. Oh, Dude. Megan, you are in grave danger. You are cursed, and the studio is haunted, and we are running out of time to um, save you. What do you mean, haunted? There's no such thing as ghosts, and, you know. It's all spelled out right here in the ancient annals of BSU Tonight history. A long time ago, in the year of our Lord, 2003, BSU Late Night has chosen its first female Wait, host, Jessica Blake. She was a sophomore theater major who was very proud of her position. On the night of the first taping of the first season, when Jessica took the stage for the first time, one of the old studio lights came loose from the ceiling and fell right on top of her, killing her before the cameras even started rolling. She never got to become the first female host of the show. Who gave you permission to cut to a flashback? <laughs> Okay, um, you know, I, I, I don't really believe any of this. I, I mean, I, I'm the first female host of the show, right? Still? <laughs> of course you are, but Jessica doesn't think so. It says in the prophecy that on the season finale of the first female's host, first season, she'll take her revenge and kill the one who stole her title. Great story, Rita. Now, if you could get off set, uh, we got a we got a show to moving. We got to keep going. We got a season finale to shoot. All that stuff. And okay, who touched my mug? Oh. This is not Thousand Island dressing. <gasps> oh no! Oh no! 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 Okay. Well, as soon as I find out which PA thought it would be funny to replace my favorite drink with water, let's throw it to a bumper. bump into you. <laughs> Ooh, welcome back. So today we wanted to promote our show for the next season. We want to make sure that everyone knows that there's not actually a requirement to be a TCOM major to be a part of the show. I mean, I'm actually not even a TCOM major. And neither is talent member Allie Johnson. She's actually studying PR. <laughs> Welcome on, Allie. <laughs> Hi, 
Okay, so I'm not a TCOM major, which is totally okay in this group. I mean, yeah, of course I miss out on a lot of the relatable jokes, and I didn't really understand, do you know that actor? Because I only knew like 90% of the people in it. Yeah, I mean, makes it a bit awkward, but I mean, now we have like some new skills, like setting up Felix lights or, you know, stuff like that. What's a flex light? Oh, <laughs> okay. Um, well, have you learned anything from being on the show? Yeah, I mean, my knowledge of movies has gotten a lot better from our super awesome movie nights. Oh, yeah. Like my new favorite movie sidekick is that little green guy, Dobby, from The Lord of the Rings. <laughs> yeah, uh, who, are you, who are you talking about? Dobby, the little green guy from The Lord of the Rings who talks funny. <laughs> Uh, you're, you're, you're either talking about Dobby from Harry Potter, Yoda from Star Wars, or Go Gollum, maybe? Oh, silly me. Not a TCOM major. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, Allie, have you learned, have you learned anything else from, from the show? Oh, yeah. I love the one where the space princess falls in love with the space guy, and then they find out that they're siblings in um, Star Trek. Wars. Or that movie where the sister sacrifices herself for the younger sister, and then they go into the games with all the wolves and the vampires, and then they like kill each other. Uh, yeah, I think you're confusing the plots of, of several movies, for sure. Listen, Megan, you can't relate to me because you're still a TCOM minor. Okay. You can't relate to me. You are fake woke. My issues, you do not relate to my issues on a spiritual level. You don't understand me. Um, Allie, I'm, I'm really sorry. Let's talk about it. Let's talk, let's talk about PR. Yeah, I'm PR too. I love that. I love that. No, Megan, I'm not going to waste my breath educating you on inbound marketing or social media's impact or evolving PR agency models or the crisis reputation integration. Okay, or, or any of those things. I get it, but, but, um, uh, or organizational culture. Okay. Allie, Allie, what do you want from me? I don't want, you, you don't want to teach me? I don't want to learn. Oh, social media. Okay. <laughs> Good, yeah. Good, I didn't want to learn about any of that. Give it up for talent member Allie Johnson. <laughs> Stick around. Cut to a package. I think Maybe we should. Really? It is my pleasure to announce a new BSU Tonight tradition on this final episode. It's BSU Tonight's Riff Off. Please welcome to the stage our official judge, Chris Klein. All right, everyone. Uh, welcome to BSU Tonight's Riff Off 2019. Uh, we have two teams here ready to battle it out for Riff Off champion. So how this all works. I will pick a random topic from my pocket. Now, each team will take turns singing a few lines of a song that fits that theme. And whoever messes up or can't think of a song loses. So let's get started. Our first topic is songs about love. Hit it. <laughs> Wise men say. Too bad. Uh, your whole team has to sing the same song, so uh, sorry, but point goes to team two. Come on, you bunch of idiots! Get your heads in the game! 
And then as a reminder that this is a live episode, everyone. <laughs> Next theme is songs about working on the railroad. What? That doesn't make any sense. Hit it, team two. I've been working on the railroad all the live long day. Team one. There's no other songs about working on the railroad. So. Yeah, ooh, too bad. Um, you see, team one, make sure you sing your answers to, to get the point. What? Point goes to team two again. What are you on about, man? Come on, can't you really name another song about working on the railroad? <laughs> All right, uh, let's see what the last theme is going to be. Ah, songs about your ex-girlfriend, Jane. Are you kidding me? There is no such thing. You cannot be serious right now. Really? No one? <laughs> well, I, I, I know one, and it goes a little something like this. <clears throat> Ooh, Jane, God, you're insane. If only you had a brain, you dirty piece of shit. <laughs> you horrible mother... Thank you. Uh, team two, you, you, I think you won. Great job. Great job, everyone. Get, get out, please. Cut mm -hmm. to a package. <laughs> there was an idea to bring together a group of mildly talented comedic characters to see if they could produce the greatest comedy show ever. And when we're done, only half of all BSU Tonight characters will remain. Randy Mann, my ex-boyfriend? What are you doing here again? I've assembled a team of all your greatest enemies. Maximiliano, Papa Panicello, and Vinny, the virus. And Gary, who didn't make talent this year. Yeah, I thought my audition was pretty good. <laughs> we all did good. We all did. This will be the most ambitious crossover. No one will ever talk. All your other sketches will be obsolete. This show belongs to us, not them. Are you with me? We're going to stop the League of Evil People who are evil tomorrow. I actually can't make it tomorrow. Oh, well then, um, tonight. Tonight! tonight! I can eat you for breakfast! Ah! Tonight. I'm not even possessed. What are you doing? This scene doesn't even make it into the final cut of the movie, so. Oh, uh, tonight. Oh, 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 oh tonight. <laughs> you got that right. Double. Oh. a very, very special new thing. Megan, watch out! Okay, what? What, what? Oh, God. Rita, did a light just fall? Don't you see? It's Jessica Blake. She's come to take her revenge. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I really believe you now. I don't want to die here. Um, oh, Megan, 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 Megan! It'll be okay. We just have to summon her here so we can speak to her. Okay, yeah. Yeah, wh why? I thought, no, I thought she wanted to kill me. I'm... You told me yourself that she was. Megan! It's the only way. Okay. How about we cut to a package? Okay, yeah, um, we will do that. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we will be right back. Hey, 
ways for horses. Welcome back. With us, we have the Banana Boys. Give it up for Jordan, Eamon, Bobby, Nick, Harrison, and Austin. Hey guys. Okay, so, so Banana Boys, um, how many of you have been involved in BSU Unite throughout your college years? Uh, everybody except Jordan. <laughs> oh. Jordan sucks. Wow. Wow. <laughs> but you've been on a couple of BSU Unite episodes, right? Yeah, I'm best of my time. <laughs> Yeah, the microphone has to move. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so this is not your first time. See, that's what I was getting at. So you guys started as a band, what, a year ago? Yeah, almost a year ago. Yeah, yeah, almost exactly a year ago. Uh, we, <laughs> we, we started um, playing at a, uh, an end-of-the-year uh, party for BSU Tonight, kind of as a joke. Even the name Banana Boys was, was a joke. And now, uh, as we've just been together um, over the past year, it's really grown into something that we really all love and appreciate. I'm excited. So, so how did you guys really start this band? Like, who, who started it? Who was the one that was like, dude, guys, we should make a band for this? Well, I guess uh, me and uh, Nick. That's my name, yeah. Nick, yeah, yeah. this guy. <laughs> we both were like, hey, we want to start a band. And then we asked other people who play instruments. And then we just kind of <laughs> started playing songs together. R.I.P. my boy Skylar. Peace out. Well, it, it started after after you wrote um, you wrote a package for BSU tonight about a band. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and then we were just like, "Hey, how about we do it for real?" Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. That's fair enough. So, why the Banana Boys? I think Austin can tell you, yeah. like the best. So, there was a there was an instance where we're all in a hotel room together, unfortunately, and we all discovered that we were all deathly allergic to bananas. So. <laughs> I am not sure I believe you, but it's true. Yeah. I like it. Okay. I was in the hospital for four days. <laughs> <laughs> so, what kind of music do you guys play? Bobby. Uh, death metal. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, with a false. side of ska. <laughs> uh, we play a mix of like kind of like an alternative and kind of poppy rock mix. Cool. It's a good mix, honestly. You guys do covers and original songs. Yeah, we uh, are working on getting a bunch of songs written so we can finally put out an EP. But that's, you know, we're, we're, we're working towards that. Cool. And where do you guys play? <laughs> so we played a couple places around Muncie. Um, and we mostly play, like, in basements and stuff. Because <laughs> uh, yeah, that's kind of our vibe is just basements? dirty and musky. <laughs> Damn. We, we just love the crowd of a, a good old house show, you know? Yeah. That's nice. So, do you guys have any favorite memories? Tell me some. Tell me some stories. Um, one of my favorite memories. Uh, our first show out of a basement that we played. Our first above ground show. Wow. Um, we thought we were doing it for free, and to split between all of us, we got twenty five dollars. So we all got milkshakes, <laughs> which is pretty cool. <laughs> That's really exciting. I'm sure that when you guys become rich and famous, you'll look back at that and be like, "Man, should have invested it." <laughs> Artists in the music industry, um, it's, the, <laughs> it's the new working class job, so <laughs> I bet each of us will only make about 50 grand a year if we really hit it the big time. So. <laughs> I'm excited to hear that. And speaking of original music, I think that we actually have a recording of you guys playing some original music, right? We do. We have a brand new music video premiering on this show. Woo! Right like, now? Right now, yes. Wow, okay, let's do that. Right now. <laughs> SOS, everybody, from the Banana Boys. All right. Yeah. Okay. Rolling.
G.I. Joe! Coop is about to strike. Luckily, America's greatest heroes are back, and this time they've added some new members. His arms are made of iron, and his head is full of rocks. Meet Captain Cannon Arms. You'll never take away our freedom, America! She's the stealth master of the group, able to take down enemies from the shadows. It's Sydney Samurai. They'll never see me coming. And you know that every great team of heroes needs a great leader. He rules with a big stick and teeny tiny hands. It's Donald Trump. Jeff Bush has low energy. Each G.I. Joe figure comes with over 100 unique voice recorded phrases. Just press the button on their back to hear them talk. Feel the power of the cannon arms. Not so fast, Cobra. If Ivanka weren't my daughter, perhaps I'd be dating her. Fake news, CNN is nothing. Crooked Hillary's coming after her email. Thank you to Tim Apple for having us here. G.I. Joe! These heroes are equipped to take on the evils of the Cobra Legion. Take that, Cobra scum! If it's a fight you want, it's a fight you'll get. Build that wall. Build that wall. Mr. President, Cobra is right on our tail. We need to act fast. The caravan is coming. They're bringing drugs. G.I. Joe! Collect all of the new G.I. Joe figures today. National debt crisis and inflated ego sold separately. You're fired. Welcome back. Welcome back. We actually have a special guest here today. He's been a good friend of mine ever since I showed up here at Ball State. Please welcome Peyton. Oh, God. So, Peyton, um, tell me what you've been up to. Oh, man, you know what? I've really just been hanging out with my friends, taking it easy, you know, just having fun till graduation. Uh, graduation? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm a senior. About that, Peyton. Um, <clears throat> there's, a, there's a reason I brought you here today. <laughs> well, I hope so. You guys ran out of ideas already? <laughs> Peyton, you're not a senior. I, wh wh what do you mean? You used to be a senior. You already graduated. I, I don't get the joke. <laughs> um, Peyton, when, when was the first year you were at Ball State? Uh, 2011, but I don't see what that has to do with anything. Uh, everyone, please welcome Peyton's sister Jenny and his friend Darren. <laughs> what? what are you guys doing here? We're here because we love you and support you. Yeah, we wanted to give you time to process things, but uh, now we're just scared that you're moving in a harmful direction. No, 
No, no, no, guys, I'm a senior. I'm gonna, I'm gonna graduate in May. I'm gonna throw a banger with my broskies. Does that mean you've been studying here for eight years? I, I mean, did any of us really do any studying? Am I right? <laughs> I wrote a letter that I'd like to read. That's all right, Megan. Yeah, of course. Hayden, you have always been the, the kindest friend I've ever had. I don't want to see that Peyton go away. The teachers here are too confused to ask you why you keep coming to their classes. The dining centers are tired of you trying to use an expired Target gift card for meal swipes. Senior year Peyton. That's, that's me! I Peyton! Patient. Aaron is trying to express how he feels. Yeah. Senior year, Peyton was a great dude. But you're 25 now. I want to get to know a new you. Peyton, you received this diploma. Darren, will you pass it? In 2018, Peyton. 16, 2016. Oh yeah, I see. But I, maybe I'm a, maybe I'm a grad student, you know? I, no, Peyton. <laughs> what do you mean, maybe? There's someone we brought that we want you to meet. Uh, Hannah? Hi, Peyton, I'm Hannah Bullitt. Uh, after looking at your resume, I'd like to offer you a job. You mean like, like campus employment or like? Uh, no, I mean like at a company where adults work. <laughs> I'm gonna throw a banger. No, <laughs> Peyton. No more bangers. Peyton, I, I know it's hard, but if you're willing to take this next step and get a job and stop showing up on frat row on Friday nights, maybe. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. This is an emotional time. We can cut to a bumper. Hey, Grace, what are you doing here? I'm writing a series of bumpers for the last episode. They're pun based. Grace, this is really weird. Yeah. I'm going nuts. So, Jessica Blake, we know you're here. Reveal yourself to us. We don't want to hurt you. Megan, do you remember the chant? Uh, yeah, yeah. She's coming. Keep working. Keep chanting. Thank you. Yeah, Megan, you don't need to introduce everyone with their full name and title, and you can't leave light strung out on the floor like this. Oh. It's a safety, ha safety hazard. I damn near died tripping over uh, all the wires back there. Yeah. And good Lord, why are there booby traps backstage? <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to summon the ghost of Jessica Blake, yes. the first female host of BSU Tonight. Yeah, I know who she is. She was here when I first started this job, and what do you mean her ghost? She isn't dead. Oh. <laughs> what? It says here in the book that when she died, she died when this light fell from the ceiling. Of course she isn't dead. She was just a jerk and everyone hated her. They kicked her out and told everyone she was dead to the show. You guys should really keep better records of your club. But, 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 <laughs> the, the falling light and Megan's drink. Uh, how do yeah, you those lights are getting old, Rita. They do that sometimes. And Megan, uh, we told you no outside food or drink uh, besides water is allowed in the studio. 
So I changed your drink. You've got to stop drinking that Thousand Island dressing. It'll send your cholesterol through the roof. <laughs> so, so I'm not going to die? No. Well, if you keep drinking salad dressing, it might not be too long. <laughs> Wait! This can't be right. The prophecy foretold that the host will die at the end of the season. Okay, where does it say that anywhere? Get out, Rita. Get all right, back to the green room. room. Come on, come on, Rita. Thank you. I knew we should have gotten rid of that historian position from the exec board. Honestly, who has a historian anymore? Cut to a package. <laughs> hey, everybody. Last talent meeting. I just really wanted to let the seniors celebrate graduation, so you guys play freeze, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to the kitchen. I heard it's supposed to rain tonight. What? Well, I'll go look. What do you see? There's a bunch of people on the street. Oh, oh freeze, freeze, okay, freeze. Uh, can you guys help me with this barbell? <laughs> what, what is that? I think they're playing freeze. I, I'll, I'll go handle this guys. Guys, uh, what are you doing out here? We're uh, <laughs> trying to have a party. You're kind of freaking us out a little bit. I mean, if you guys want to get crazy, <laughs> you can get a little crazy. Messing around. What are you talking about? I've been here the whole time. What? Everybody in the basement. Now. Once upon a time. Shh. We talked about this, Bruce. You don't talk anymore. What happened to the puppet? Frank was the first to fade away. Once upon a time, there was a college comedy talk show. That made dozens of characters that made people laugh. But eventually, those young pupils move on, and their characters are left alone, forgotten, until they waste away. You're the seniors of the talent pool. Pretty soon, you're gonna be graduating, and we're all gonna be left behind. But we're not gonna let that happen. We're not gonna be the ones that disappear. You will be. Uh, somebody help! Quiet! None of them are gonna help you now. They're preoccupied with their Cherry? One time. I lost it. 
Mitchell, Mitchell was himself. Gosh, I played myself twice. Everywhere. Get away. You get away. Ronnie, I will kick your pervy ass, boy. Characters I scared them into joining me, but I forgot that when you play a character, it sticks with you forever. <laughs> it's okay, Bruce. We're gonna be okay, Bruce. We'll um, we'll we'll catch up with you later. Yeah. So, do you guys think we should warn them? Aren't they in danger? Just let them enjoy it while it lasts. Season 18. Thank you all for coming out tonight for our live season finale. I have absolutely. <laughs> I have absolutely loved being your host this season. I hope you all have enjoyed it too. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you in the fall for season 19. <laughs> Thank you.